You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, as you guys know, Adam Schefter of ESPN has been under fire ever since yesterday when he actually reported the tragic death of Dwayne Haskins. He actually brought up that the man struggled to catch on with the Redskins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he deleted that tweet. However, guys, Adam Schefter now has gotten busted now. He's gotten busted because Adam Schefter now is auto blocking people on Twitter. You can see here on Outkick, ESPN's Adam Schefter didn't turn on safety mode after after criticism tweets show. Now, this man, the kitchen got too hot and boy, he can't handle the heat whatsoever. He is getting crushed by everybody. Everybody's crushing this man for the tweet that he put out. It says here, ESPN NFL in insider Adam Schefter was the first to report the tragic passing of 24-year-old Dwayne Haskins on Saturday morning. And his initial tweet was met with heavy criticism. Schefter deleted his first tweet, breaking the news of the 24-year-old's death and tweeted a similar message about 20 minutes later. But not before many individuals criticized the NFL insider for the part of his message that said, struggling to catch on with Washington and Pittsburgh in the NFL. Many individuals noticed Schefter's account auto blocking them Saturday and have said the insider is quote hiding in his safe space or that he put his account on safety mode because he can't handle owning up to what he did regarding the Saturday morning tweet that does not appear to be the case. And I didn't know anything really about a safety mode here. So I'm not on Twitter, by the way, in case you guys uh, don't know. But um, it says here, Twitter first introduced safety mode in September 2021 to a group of the platform's users aiming to aims to reduce disrupted interactions. So I guess that's what it is. And you get um, automatically auto blocked for seven days for hateful and insulting remarks. Adam Schefter, man, th this looks pretty weak right here. You can see this person here says, uh, your boy's hiding, hiding in a safe space. And right there, it just says auto block by Twitter. You are temporarily auto blocked from viewing and interacting with Adam Schefter's tweets. Uh, this happens when they're, they were, they were in safe mode and we flagged your interactions as potentially abusive or spammy. Now I'm actually kind of curious if um we're auto block over there on Twitter on uh, Black and White Network. I'm not really sure, man, but this is pretty ridiculous right here. This one person is saying Adam Schefter unblock me, that safety mode messing me up. Uh, posting uh false facts is okay, but calling them out on it is bad. Right, Adam Schefter, safety mode pansy. Uh, what else here? Oh, I guess Nancy Pelosi is doing it, too. OK, <laughs> but uh, guys, what do you think of Adam Schefter, man? I haven't uh, been back on Twitter since uh, early this morning, and uh, he had actually tweeted some other things after he uh, deleted his first tweet. But I don't think he's tweeted anything else today. We were on Sports Wars today and we were actually talking about and asking, do you think he's going to come out and apologize or make some kind of statement about um, deleting the tweet? I was thinking that he probably would considering, you know, he's getting crushed by athletes and other people in the sports media. And he's the guy that usually breaks news. If he wants to keep a good relationship with these people and get the insider information, he probably would come out and apologize. But based on this, him auto blocking people, I'm not sure, man. I'm not too sure now, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Adam Schefter being weak, can't handle the heat whatsoever. He's getting crushed. And I guess he's just going to stay in a safe space. We have to see what happens, guys. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.